All right, let's try this again. Yes, indeed. Hey, Spoon. Yes, indeed. I saw one broken trade sword. Let's not die uh, to Gundir again. <clears throat> hey, Brett, what's up, dude? How is Trilogy going? I have never played Hades, no. Hey, Nacho. Game three tomorrow. What's your game three? Please don't lose game three to Gundir, like Ain did. And please don't lose game three to the second parry on Gwyn, like Ain did. Whatever you do. I felt the need to put that SL1 as a command for what it means. Already lost game three to high wall hollows. Uh, so you got your really early throw done. <laughs> um, yeah, fair, I guess, fair. Hey, Hobo. Don't know what you expected. Well, a lot of people for some reason don't know what SL1 means. I mean, I guess I can see a way why they wouldn't know what SL1 means. Like, if they're new to the Souls series... What the heck? I thought I got the repose, so I like I looked away. Like they they could be new to the Soul series, and just like haven't perused the YouTubes or the Twitches. Hey, Hunter. I mean, yeah, nothing's obvious if you haven't seen it before. But I'm amazed by how many people haven't seen it before. Oh, 07 can't participate in predictions, by the way. And Spoon07 says hi. Where do you get to the broken trace sword? Right after Gundir. It's right outside that door over there. Where's 07? Oh, he's banned. Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, he was warned, and then I told him that I would ban him. And the only way that he's getting unbanned is whenever v -Swed gets uh, Dark Souls 1 hitless, right? Whenever Sword gets that no-hit run on DS1, 07 can be released from the ban corner. Oh, 07 also says that Twitch sucks. Let's just end. to stagger back that way. And I just kicked him. Cool. No, I didn't get the trilogy. I'm putting trilogy on the back burner. I'm not really, like, having the most fun with it. It's kind of... Uh, like, I feel like I need to do it in spurts. It's a bunch of runs that I've already done before. And I feel like I have to treat it like, I don't know, like I would treat an event and do it once in a while.
See, Sweat says he'll get it tomorrow, but then he'll just, like, die to ONS for the first five hours of stream. Be like, chat. I don't know if I can do this, dude. Wait, that's your 12th month here? Thank you, Josh. <laughs> Thanks for the year-long sub, dude. I would expect nothing less from the person who is better than Ainrun at DBD. Did I say month here? Thanks for the year long sub. Josh, you're incredible. If you guys want to see a staff, like a a staff in this game, right? Staff only no hit run, then go go follow Josh. Yo Josh Arena. Hey Bebo. And if you want to see a uh, a uh, brave tender strat that no one's ever done in a no hit run yet, you should follow Josh and watch his run. Not that bad here. We have some apples and cheeses, so that's Pog. Sweat is a god gamer. And uh, okay, uh, if you're confused about what I just said, it's 07 DMing me. <laughs> And he, he just people leave or people left because he's getting ignored. It's a shame that he just can't participate in chat, dude. I warned him, bro. I I straight up uh straight up uh, warned him, dude. Give him so many chances. Hey, armchair, what's up? I really don't need that soul, huh? Pay his bell. If someone... If someone gifts a hundred subs, oh seven's back, dude. Oh seven saying that I called him an asshole once. Yeah, you were probably being an asshole, yes. Fuck! 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 Shit! God damn it! Heckin' heckin' heck lol damn, dude. Do heckin' heeching heck lol damn, PC BD love. Thank you, Cream, for the five months, dude. How are you doing? Thank you for the continued support. I appreciate it. One month away from the new badge, I see. And Josh, you tried. You absolutely tried. A five hundred dollar ransom. Yeah, 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 I think that's pretty. That's pretty. Like that. That's respectable, right? I have banned 07 many times, given many chances. Like, this isn't even the, th the three strike rule anymore. $500 a month. Should I do. <laughs> I should do that, dude. Every single month, if someone doesn't. Uh, Oi, where are you gift after? 100 subs, 07's out. Uh, Abyss Watcher, thanks for the follow, dude.
about one bit. Uh, you can, you can uh, gift one bit. Welcome to Good Burger, home of Hold the on. Good Burger. Can I take your order? Zalen, what's up? Thanks for the raid, dude. Bingus raid, cringe raid, angie raid. In that order, chat. Of course. Anyway, you can gift the bit if it's followed by... What's the math on that? It's $500 worth of bits. It's like... 50,000 bits. <laughs> if it's followed by... 49,999 bits. And he's out, dude. Uh, Zaylin, how was the stream, dude? Uh, hey, you're good. What's up? Stream was a roller coaster. How so? How was it a roller coaster? Any heckin' fog walls, dude? First try, by the way. Yes, we have pet the spoon. We absolutely do. What if I? What if you redeem a lot of ads? Um, no, because first of all, I have no idea. Like, there's no way in me knowing how much money I make per uh, mineral ad. So it's it's not quantifiable on my end. At all. So there'd be no way of determining that. Start off real chill, then you actually got mad at some. at Soma because uh, a really poorly made puzzle then apparently took crack and uh, reacted to Karen vids. Wait, took crack? Kek, wait. Kek fucking wait, dude. <laughs> Hey, Guava. Uh, how far did Squilla get today on on his runs? I saw the hit that he took in Archives with Sage. This way. I almost went back to uh, the dancers arena, dude. That 30 second ad will have to wait till after Vort because I don't run ads during boss fights. So, give me some time here and we'll get around to it. Alright, let's go. Oi, where are you That's pretty much the end of it. Gotcha. Unfortunate. Uh, thank you for the follow, whoever that was. I will get... And, uh, thank you correctly. You're good. Thanks for the follow, dude. Appreciate it. Alright. So now, since we're done with the boss fight, if you're not subscribed to the channel, you will get a 30-second uh, ad. So, see you in 30 seconds. All you non-subscribers, I guess. Alright, there we go. If only there was some way to, you know, 
not get ads on live streams anymore? Oh wait. How run? This is the uh, pretty much the first run of the day. We're chilling, dude. Fishing for subs? Well, all the non-subs can't even hear me, so no, I can't be fishing for subs. You can't fish for subs if, like, the bait that you're throwing out there, like, can't even be seen. Play with the ad as well? I'm pretty sure ads are, like... Specifically for each account, right? Whoa, CBD, you can't fucking say that. Gibby, what's up? Speaking of subs. Dude, thank you for the seven months, dude. I appreciate the long term support. Thank you, dude. Welcome heckin' back. Or heckin' welcome back, whatever. Maybe I should, like, fish for subs more, dude. Like, does that bother people? If I was like, dang, dude, like... I really want to hear that... That tier 3 sub... Notification, right? Like, oh, like, what was the tier 2 sub... What, what was the, the 20 gifted sub notification again? Forgot. <laughs> Guys. The 100 gifted sub alert is, uh, it's crazy, dude. Hopefully you guys will, uh, you know, get to see it once in a while, right? Am I right, chat? What was the 500 sub sound again? The 500, uh, gift sub amount is so secret, like, I don't even know what it is, dude. Nope, do your thing. <laughs> how do I fish for subs, folders? I may make, like, bets, but I don't think that's fishing for subs. If, if I clearly say what I want or what I'm willing to do in exchange for, like, a certain number of subscriptions, right? Then I don't think that's fishing. That's just being straight up with people, right? Guys, we are simultaneously over 1k, and we are one away from 1k subs. Can you believe it? Please don't take that seriously, alright? <laughs> alright, they're both dead this time. Uh, a saw. Do what's up, Fear? What's the best class of making a new character if only played a knight? Uh, choose whatever you want, pretty much. It doesn't really matter which class you start off as, unless you're going for, like, some specific objective that you want to do, like, really fast or very optimally. If you're just playing through the game, like, pick whatever you want. Did you give 30 subs for Demon Dumper? Oh yeah, it was like a... If I got like 100 subs over the course of two days or something. And somehow that was actually a thing. See you, Zalen. Have a good night, dude. Thanks for the raid, too. See, but I also have to strategize, like, whenever I make deals with, uh, subs, right? Because if Liquid's in chat, and I'm like, yo, I'll, I'll do this for 100 subs, he's just gonna, like, drop 500. For safe measures, dude. Hey, Barker. What 
What is Moz 6? I did cream. I haven't uploaded it yet because I'm, I'm horrible at doing that. But I will eventually. It's just going to take some time to uh, process on YouTube. Oh, mozzarella sticks, gotcha. I understand now. Congrats, thanks. Yeah, it was pretty interesting. My, um, my throne duo fight was 28 minutes. <laughs> I was in that fight for 28 minutes. You will gift 10 subs if Folgers gifts you 20. Wouldn't you just be breaking even? Couldn't couldn't Folgers just gift me 10 subs? No, sweat, you would be you'd be breaking even. It's a fifty dollar profit, wait. No. What? No, it's not. Sweat gets a hundred percent oh yeah, okay, yeah, there we go. That that's the meme right there. <laughs> Swad gets 200% profit per, uh, per sub, right? That's how you can afford it. Although this is just projection, right? Or, or like a speculation, I should say. Since people always talk about on Twitter having like 50% re or revenue cut, Oi, whatever. Where are you off to? I am assuming... That sweat may or may not fall under this supposed random number. Uh, K Spain, thanks for the follow. For K Spain. Squeals, you're right about that, but not as it pertains to subs. Unless you're still memeing. You gotta tell me if you're memeing, dude. <laughs> Love the stream, man. Thank you, dude. I may never know. Uh, okay, okay, cool. <laughs> memes aren't real, dude. I was just talking to someone about the memes of Squid Game. All right. I'm opening up this conversation again. There's no way that Squid Game got that big organically through just like social media presence, all right? From other people making memes. You you cannot convince me otherwise. Oi, where are you off to? Uh, Zayo, thanks for the follow. Also, Doctor, congrats, dude. Squid Game conspiracy. Yes, I have a conspiracy that that there is there is some very very smart manipulation going on with Netflix and their marketing. All right, because there was not traditional marketing as it pertains to you know like well like marketing of, of a movie or a, or a TV show. You can't tell me that you saw like any kind of um like any kind of like traditional promotional material about Squid Game, right, coming from Netflix. What was it? It was it was all memes, right? And like tweets and Facebook posts and my sp MySpace statuses and TikToks.
Dude, I, I was talking about this earlier, and, and Sweat was talking, like, he was comparing Squid Game to Pokemon or something, and I wanted to be like, bro, like, that, that's something Korean with something Japanese. Yes, Kakwake indeed. <laughs> <laughs> The tinfoil hat on? Hmm. Perhaps. In the future, maybe, I don't know. Kekwake. <laughs> uh, I feel like you never see any Netflix promotions. Okay, that too, right? You only see things on... on the social really medias, dead. right? WTF sweat people concern. <laughs> Guys, don't think that sweat's being being serious. Unless he is, then that's very concerning. Just memeing, dog. Uh, and 70, thanks for 100 bits, dude. Yeet. Any blindfolded PS3 playthrough, playthroughs there? I wish Gino would go back to that. You don't think they, you'd give them that much credit over... Wait, after the whole fiasco they had with... Wait, how does that have anything to do with marketing? Hell, the the whole fiasco with Dave Chappelle's special, like that, like you could say that's outrage marketing too. Uh, here again, thanks for the follow, dude. Yes, you can. You can have five animated emotes. Finally, Twitch got on that, got on that train after like years and years of having BTTV. Oh! You don't think that- I think they're- wait, what do you mean they're not that smart, though? If- if- if they're having- if they're having Squid- okay, if- if Netflix is so successful now, and Squid Game took, like, social media by storm, I would say they're- they're kind of on the right track, right? Like, you think it's just dumb luck? I think- I think that's a very huge success to be like, oh yeah, it's just dumb Hot luck. Hot dogs are not sandwiches! Zench for you, legend. Whoa, CBD, you can't fucking say that. Uh. Um, Zentry, dude, thank you for- For the ten months, dude. I... I appreciate that. Thank you for the long-term support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, doesn't Netflix not make that much profit though? That's with like every single huge company nowadays. Um, I'm pretty sure for the longest time Amazon didn't have a profit margin, um, or yeah, didn't have any profits. Uh, Tesla didn't have profits for a long time. I think one time they even had profits and that threw off their whole like, shick. Um, because the thing about the thing about companies now is like people invest in their future growth, right? That's how it is. And Netflix is a streaming monster, right? A Hunger Game S concept. Okay, if it's a Hunger Game S concept, then how is it bigger than Hunger Games? Well, maybe it's not bigger than Hunger Games. But no, no, no. See, see. You, you can't say, like, oh, it, it's a Hunger Games concept, hence, I don't know, bada bing, bada boom. But there, there are so many, like, why this, right? Like, are you saying that that's more, that's more powerful than getting Americans to read subtitles or to listen to English dub? I think Americans typically aren't like that. They're not going to be reading subtitles in, in media. It's just not very popular here. 
It's not very popular at, like, very, like, older generations. You know. And, like, as it stands, I think, like, one, at least one in four Americans or something have seen Squid Game? Or have watched Squid Game? Wait, you sub six months in advance? Wait, did he really? Wait. <laughs> Zentry, you legend. Thanks, dude. Yeah, sorry, I will catch up on chat. I promise. Don't hit me. <laughs> okay. A relative of yours watched Squid Game with the dub. The, the, the dub is really bad. At least the parts that I saw. And heard. I don't think... I don't think the right emotions translate very well. Because, like, I doubt they're getting directed by the same director. You know, they're just... Dabbing the lines, you know? It's hard to put what you're saying into words. I mean, that's fine. However, I... I don't think you can apply one measure of success to another, right? So if you're talking about a Dave Ch Chappelle uh, special about how it angered a lot of people, I don't think that has anything to do with them marketing something that is very su successful. Hey, Blario. Like, like, there are very smart assholes in the world, right? Exhibit A, Steve Jobs. Exhibit B, Kanye West. And if you don't think that Kanye West is smart, then please tell me why he's so su so successful, right? I do. That only applies to older generations who are less likely to watch streaming services anyway? Uh, no. Well, I mean, yes and no. Really older, uh... Uh, generations don't really have streaming. They, they're they like the cable guys. The cable box people. Uh, but not like middle-aged people. Streaming is just easier. Hey, procrastinator. Oh, the subbing in advance was a cheaper option? Yeah, don't you like... You get like a, a discount if you sub in advance and... You retain that discount if you don't cancel your sub. He rented out Oracle Park to propose to Kim. I don't even know what Oracle Park is. Is that how poor I am? <laughs> oh man. See, see, Josh, you can't imagine paying for cable, but what if I told you that you can have bundles of streaming services to, to get the most out of your shows and your movies, right? Uh, so we are effectively <laughs> reinventing cable television. <laughs> Isn't that what's kind of happening? <laughs> hey, guys, you can get Disney Plus and and uh, ESPN, and Hulu, all in a bundle. <laughs> Sorry. Am I excited for next Monday? Oh, yeah, maybe I should, like, start saying stuff about that. Um, If you guys don't know who Spike Vegeta is, he's a pretty pretty big speedrun guy. Um, He's in a lot of different communities. Uh, but he helps, like, host GDQ all the time. And me, Barker, Flippy, and... Uh, who who the hell else was there? I contacted so many people. Was it Susie? Um, we're gonna be participating in, um... Like, 
in a no-hit race, or no-hit tournament-esque event, uh, that's being hosted by uh, the speedrunning community on Spike Vegeta's channel. So it's, uh, it's pretty much like any other event, but yeah, it's going to be a four-way race, and whoever kills the most bosses within a three-hour time limit with the least hits will be numero uno. Yeah, and like they do that with a whole bunch of different um, games too. It's every Monday. Spike Vegeta has a uh, thing called Speedrunner Underground, I believe it's called. Um, I may have mixed up two words there. But they feature a different game or different like series every week for people to go up against each other and race each other. All right, uh, hold on. What time? Uh, 7 p.m. Eastern. So I, I would be alive very early, actually. Is speed or hits more important? I believe hits are more important. If if speed was more important, there'd have to be like some kind of speed penalty for hits. But I, I think it's... I think hits are more important. I guess we can talk to him, though. I'm pretty sure it's one of the... I think it's the, the first Dark Souls hitless stuff that they've done on the channel. Plus one point per boss kill, minus one point per hit. That might be a good one, actually. Does the dude in second win? You mean like, are there are there prizes for for second, third, or whatever? Uh, that I'm not too sure about actually. We haven't all gotten together and determined the logistics of things. See, Flippy's done his research on this. I haven't. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be uh, next week, right? Yeah, next week. Next week, Monday. Well, Monday for me, probably like pretty early in the morning for other people. Okay. Also, I've been ignoring 07's messages for the past forever. Sorry, 07. Wait, you haven't reinstalled DS2, Flippy? <laughs> ignoring it like the Black Plague, dude. Rolario, I hear that the boon totems are, like, mega OP. I have a question. People were racing, and the dude in first gets hit once, and the dude in second is hitless, but finishes 30 seconds slower. Yeah, so that that's something that we have to work out, but typically in no-hit tournaments or races, it's hits are determined, or hits determine the winner, and then the speed. Right. Yes, Barker, there's a prize. I probably should have said that, too. I forgot to tell people that. But then, but then, if I would have told you, then I wouldn't have known that you would just want to do it for the fun of it, right? Yeah, Flippy, go ahead. Subs and bits to the stream, yeah, that's right. So if you want to support, whenever, uh... They go live on Monday. You can sub or bit or do whatever, dude. The people don't come back. I've actually commissioned a people come back emote, by the way, guys. 
it is in the works Action and we'll ready. probably see it in like a month and a half or something <laughs> Or maybe less, maybe more. I don't know. I don't know how long it takes for Pink to do her stuff. So, uh, I need I need this. Yeah. Maybe I'll finally get to a thousand high zucks. <laughs> a thousand high zucks is dude. That's a pretty good ask, or uh, pretty good ASCII, Jesus. Unfortunately, it doesn't show up on the chat on screen though. One sub from being close to 1k subs. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty good ass, dude. Yeah, the only way you're finishing first is somehow you, like, beat Dark Souls so many times in three hours that the game just glitches out and, like, you can't beat any more bosses. Because how it works is, um, it's the number of bosses killed, right? So if you just rack up a bunch of bosses, uh, then you will be putting yourself in a very, very fine position. I saw it. What's up, Alcazo? Please don't hit me, you idiot. Uh, Gru, I need your help. Yeah, which, I'm not sure what is, uh... I don't even know what the fastest route would be. Like, I'm guessing it would be do the regular uh, all-bosses hitless route, and like... Just destroy things. Like, destroy pretty simple bosses. What is this dude doing, dog? Red is hibernating right now, dude. And he died. Kick his ass, Red. Rush DLC, get Dark Bead win. I mean, yeah, pretty much. But, like, I'm guessing... I'm guessing you could do, like... You, you could finish N NG+, right? If you want any percent. After, uh, after the DLC. But like, would it be better to to rush any percents or to rush all bosses in the next in the next NG? I'm terrified. I'm so good at this game, dude. Red, I believe in you. I don't believe in it. Oh? Oh, wait, no, that was Red who died. Gotcha. Alright, we're gonna have to just run around again.
bro. Red, why do you suck? I wish I could use fire bombs, dude. You know what? You out of here. Hey, Blast. Yeet. Okay. I did not have to rest here, but okay. You would say uh, in NG you do any percent plus any real quick bosses, then go NG plus and do any really quick bosses there because there's no setup. Involved, yeah. Uh, next Monday, October 25th, 7 p.m. EST. You might want to say EST. Uh, be participating in speedrunning on the ground at Spike Vegeta, race, racing against uh, Backflipius, Barker G, and McSusie, so you can kill the most bosses in Dark Souls Remastered 3. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Just add EST for 7 p.m. Thank you. Flippy are awesome, you know that? No, you. What? That should be illegal in this shot. That's why they call him Big Dip. <laughs> That's why they call them, uh, Big Dip. I can't even say correctly, dude. S one could say. You know, I'm not gonna say it. Shit, 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 shit. Alright, cool. Hey, Lithrum, what's up? How are you doing? One rat, two rat. Go hear a third one. A third rat, that's kind of concerning. Hmm, do I rest? Do I not rest? Hey, yeah, Osmosis, what's up, dude? I saw you in Fredo's chat earlier, or yesterday, last night, whatever it was. Shit, 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 shit. Get fucking wrecked. You loser. That's right, dude. Anyone seen the new Halloween? Uh, very disappointed because the movie suffers from there being another one coming out. They seem stuck between a rock and a hard place. I enjoyed Halloween Kills for everything that it was. It is. It is stupid. It is dumb, it is bloody, and it is amazing, even though it is very mediocre as a movie if you're, like, looking at it objectively. Dude, I... <laughs> I wrote a re my review on Letterboxd, um, 
If you guys don't know my letterbox, maybe I should make a command for it, like Spoon said, but... I don't know. But, um... Yeah, there's there's so many things... <laughs> No, not the 2018 one, the, t the one that came out, like, last weekend. Halloween Kills. Like, Michael still escapes from people when he's not running. Uh, he still catches up to people when he's not running. He somehow doesn't have smoke inhalation, you know, damages to his lungs. From being, you know, in a, in a burning house. He can somehow take a beating with blunt force trauma to his face. And, like, gunshots to his torso. And a pitchfork to the back, and he's fine. Like, all the while, he is, he's beaten down people of Haddonfield, right? And that's what you go to the, the Halloween movies to see, right? Just some kills. Um, the link is like letterbox slash cool black dude, I'm pretty sure. I didn't want that cool black dude because... I don't know why, actually. The teleportation power, that's what it is. Yeah, but I, I review movies, if you want to say that. It's more like my thoughts on the movie. Sometimes I get very creative, sometimes I don't. I don't know. I haven't played with the Boon Totems yet, uh, bro. Not yet. Uh, Halloween Kills has the dumbest characters you've ever seen. Oh yeah, dude. Why are they chasing after someone who d looks nothing like Michael Myers? <laughs> like... Oh, boy. Why is nobody shooting him in the head? You know what I mean? Where are you off to? I'm fan. Thanks for the follow, dude. Because, like, he, he takes shots to the head. Or, sorry, to, to the chest. Oh, I forgot to do this. He gets stabbed, like, in the torso. Dude should have been dead, like, a while ago. But, like... Uh, he's fine? Well, this is a surprise. Oh wow, wait, rather play melee, thanks for the gift sub, dude. It's Ion. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. Um Oi, where are you off to? And Sherpy, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. I have to catch up on chat, hold on. Uh hey Aura. Did you see Pinhead just left you with more questions? What do you mean, uh, uh, osmosis? Uh, hmm. The mask is where his powers come from. Well, there's like no... Is there any explanation? I mean, I don't want there to be an explanation because it, it would ruin the fun if they came out and it was like, oh yeah, Michael's a, a wizard. Can this... Will this still, like do something good here? He has magnets in his head that repel the bullets. That, that's some, like, CIA shit. Hey, Zaf. <laughs> Thanks, Flippy. Hey, Claire. What's up? Uh, Helheim. How you doing? Sylph. How you doing? Michael is a hermetic magician of the Golden Dawn. Gotcha. I am dropping a lot of frames, yes. Bear with me, chat. That is quite a lot, actually. What's going on? 
Alright, we're back. The sharks don't appreciate the Tuesday stream. Oi, where are you off to? Is that a bot? Thank you for the follow if you're not a bot, Luca. Splicing killing the lizard? I mean I local record anyway, so you'll see it in the in the recording. Good luck trying to repel lead with magnets. No, dude, they're they're special magnets, dude. At the end of Pinhead, a hobo picks up the cube and turns into a bone dragon and flies off with the cube. Sorry for spoilers. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. playing D&D. I've never played D&D, so I can't miss it. Uh, hmm. Got scammed out of a date and $50 a night because you paid for gas and then she ghosted you. What the flying fuck, dude? That's always been something that doesn't really make too much sense to me. Just ghosting people. I mean, like, ghosting in that sense. Not ghosting as in, you know, like, you just don't contact someone that you've known for a while. Think I'd have a good time with it? Would I really, Josh? Yeah, isn't there, like, a lot of roleplay and a lot of... Like, you have to keep up with all the rules and stuff. Oh, shoot. There we go. Uh, Flippy, have a good, have a good day. There we go. Thank you for stopping by, dude. You like this community? You, you, uh, dude, Claire, you can't, like, give chat hope, right? They are degens. You can't be supporting them. Their eagles are, will, like, go through the roof. Right? Can't have that happen. Depends on the DM. The... The dungeon master? Or is it the Darth Maul? Is it a Star Wars thing? Or uh, the, uh, the Star Trek thing? <laughs> Dude, I commissioned a TCBD salute, by the way. The second one? Star Trek, okay. I get a mix up sometimes. <laughs> See a <you>, Kami. <laughs> From Zauda, gotcha. I wouldn't have my chat be any different. I mean... Are we sure about this? Like 100% sure about this? Let's say, let's say I could trade you out for like someone else's chat. Let's say I could trade you out for like... Ninja's chat, right? He would just like throw money at him because, you know, because why not? <laughs> Dude, it's so interesting to... 
so when when um ninja was in his prime like prime numbers and stuff he always had chat on uh, subscriber only right and slow mode but sometimes like there'd be kind of a rogue mod or like he'd do it as a joke and he'd he'd relieve the chat of subscriber only mode and man would the <laughs> the chat would just get flooded it was actually something else dude can't be as sexy and so sophisticated how do you know how i look or if i'm sophisticated i'm just i'm just some dude on the internet dude i don't have to infuse what i want a bunch of 12 year olds in my chat can 12 year olds keep up a, a subscription that long maybe you're right actually um I think that's it. Cool. Ash and one. one. Friend of mine has a 19 year old daughter, and another friend sent him a screenshot of his daughter's Tinder bio. It says, I want to find a man who will fuck me in front of my roommate so she will feel uncomfortable and move out. I see. That's. I, I hope she finds happiness, dude. Just by my voice, gotcha. It's like someone being like, like, like in jury duty. Like I, I could, I could always tell someone if they were guilty or not. You know, <laughs> just by looking at them, dog. Dude, having a bad roommate sucks. I had one bad roommate in call. I mean, like he wasn't bad. Per se, but he was kind of annoying. What on earth? And it was always like weird situations. Like, like, man, why can't everyone just be like super normal? You know what? Maybe he was. <laughs> I was about to say, like, maybe he was a member of my chat. Just people who are just super weird. Don't hate me. Truth. <laughs> they hated him because he spoke the truth. You had a roommate who ate your chocolates? Bro, I have some heckin' stories about my roommate. And like about some of the mis mischief that like occurred between him and me like it wasn't anything bad per se but like man oh man L like communication would be very hard with someone who you're who you're living with because you you don't want to blow things up out of proportion to where like things like future confrontations would be very awkward and heated. You know what I mean? Human beings are very delicate individuals. sketch but okay hey trophy what's up 
You've never had good I've definitely had good roommates. I've only had one bad roommate. Or not bad, just very awkward. Thanks for the GG's, guys. Like, like, he, it was such a bad fit, him and I, like, as soon as, like, I got all settled, uh, in the dorm that we, that we were in in college, um, because, like, his family came to, to help him set up, and my family came to help me set up, um, like, our dorm room. As soon as the door closed and, like, both of our families left, I was like, this does not feel right. <laughs> I'm probably not going to enjoy it this semester, or the next semester, with this person. Really bad following out with a friend who was a roommate, so I decided I would rather struggle to pay rent sometimes than who's a friend again. We just recently started talking after, after six years, dude. Okay, I kind of think that's ridiculous. What I go to college for? Biology. I was on track to go into medicine, but then um, I've had specific experiences within the pre-med field and in the med field that uh, are not very good. So if I choose to go back to medicine, maybe I will, or maybe I won't, I don't know. Barracks mate, I uh, was a piece of shit. Your hands one time and set the rules after, and he turned out great after that. Interesting. Oi, where are you off to? Mr. Mezzo, thanks for the follow, dude. A degree in Diddle Dumpers biology? Not Diddle Dumper, <laughs> Demon Dumper. You've heard some funny medical stories. If I told you my story, a lot of people would get very upset. Like, a lot of times you hear about people, like, like having the, either, like, the time of the life in medicine, or, like, or they'll say, like, medicine's very hard. Medicine is very hard, don't get me wrong. Um, I know it firsthand, but, um, my situation has nothing to do with, like, the curriculum or anything. It's people. You may think, you may think that doctors are very nice people, or not, like, there are some bad doctors out there, but, man, it, it kind of opens your eyes, like, like, doctors are just people, and people are evil. And it, it kind of blows my mind, too, just thinking about it. Your doctor's someone with CBD's voice and personality. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe in the future. I don't know. Some doctors are shitty in nurses. Um, the, the common stereotype is that surgeons are are very, very crappy to nurses and stuff. Although there are fantastic doctors out there, dude. And like, I can kind of, okay. So I'm not justifying their, um, their actions. I'm more explaining it, but I can kind of see why doctors are very uh, shitty. It's not that they, want to do harm to nurses and stuff it's that they they think that the work is just so simple that nurses are just expected to do it you know uh which to a certain degree maybe um because like nurses don't know how to don't have to know about like the complete science behind things while doctors have to like fucking know everything, I guess. But nurses are still, like, on the front lines of doing, like, their shit. And they're human beings. So maybe you shouldn't be shitty to the people who you work with. And maybe you should build rapport and have, like, good sh sh or, uh, team values. And maybe they'll respect you more. You know what I mean? But maybe doctors don't think that, that way, so. Nurses' jobs are absolutely stressful. Doctors' jobs are stressful, too. Like, anything in the medical field is going to be very stressful. Nurses are dick to the STs. Oh, interesting. Oh, 
Oi, where are you off to? Uh, Cassiopa, thanks for the follow. Everyone is e I don't think everyone's evil. Oh, you want to just go for surgical attack? I didn't know that, Squills. Live in Russia, you stop visiting free clinics because most of the doctors are just bags of trash. Interesting. Someone get you out of Latin America? Oh boy. Josh, oh, you know what? Okay, that's an interesting quite or an interesting um topic. So, um, at a local hospital here, I was in the ICU, like helping in the ICU for a long time, actually, like six months or something. Um, and from those six months, so I'm I'm not a very squeamish person. Uh, so I I, I don't really care what I'm dealing with. Like I've said before, like I've I've seen blood squirt out of places that you don't really want to see blood squirting out of. I've I've had to smell very awful smells. I've had to see like just people die and their families being there. So like um it gets very interesting. Like at at first you're like really you're really interested in like the science behind it. You're interested in like what what the care is, you know. Um is the come thanks for the follow. I don't know how to say her name. But um like you're very invested in the people. But then your mind gets so like here's how your mind works it's like okay priority one you want to help someone and then it go then it switches automatically to priority two like how is it the best way to help someone and you're always in this like motion in your head and in this uh in this rhythm of like all right person's sick how do i help them right and i guess that's how you work most efficiently is just you do treat these situations like it's just a numbers thing because that's how you work faster to help people and I've seen it firsthand you know and like if if you really took the time to be like oh yeah, this person has a has has a family like you're not you're not thinking about that until you see their family you know what I mean I'm not saying you want to do that and if you if you can like keep the human part of you while you're doing that like you're probably an incredible person you know A 10 hour sur I've never been in a 10 hour surgery before. I have been in, in a like a surgical room though for like uh How long was it? Like maybe like an hour and a half? Where am I going? Burning flesh is one of the worst smells you can smell though, at least from, from my point of view. Like I've I've sh I've I've smelled like GI bleeds. Those are bad, but burning flesh, like, really is out of this world, dude. Uh, give me this. Shit. 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 Is anyone, like, following me? Yeah, the only reason I say that is because um, uh, when like doing surgery, you're gonna have to like burn off ends of arteries or blood vessels, I should say, to like prevent a lot of bleeding when you're working with the patient. And man, oh man, it's that smell is always present because you're always cutting. GI bleeds, gastrointestinal, gastrointestinal. There we go. Pus infections? I've never seen pus infections. I've seen like very, very weird like skin um, uh, sores though. Maybe we shouldn't be talking about this because like uh, some people, some people like don't really like 
some people are squeamish from just talking about this stuff. Maybe we, should, we like shouldn't go into it. <laughs> oh yeah, Sweat hates it, dude. Whenever I ever tried to talk to him about like my experiences in the hospital, he's like, "No, I'm out. I'm out." <laughs> he gets up, he just leaves, dude. Because of a pus infection? No, he doesn't like talking about uh, gross medical things or hearing about them. I'm not shaming him for it, just some people like that. Thanks for the GGs. I think I think a lot of people think they're very squeamish, and then when it actually happens to them, or like when something's actually in front of them, like um, in my experience, I've never really seen people have much issue with it. You know. He doesn't like blood at all. Well, there you go. I've never seen someone with a GSW's no squeals. That rarely happens in Hawaii. Like, I'm pretty sure if, if gun violence is occurring, it, like, makes the state news. <sighs> That's not a good skull at all, actually. Never mind, we're good. And blood sword on your face. Uh, should we so talk about this? <laughs> okay, one last thing, because because what what squeals uh, said reminded me of this. Um, I took an, an anatomy class, and uh, our <laughs> our instructor was was like talking to us about how how to um how to do our dissections and stuff, and um the anatomy class dealt with uh, human cadavers, right? And we were talking to her, and she was like, yeah, like, like you guys are all squeamish about, like, you know, doing dissections and stuff. But, like, I, I've, I've had to deal with, like, a lot of things. Like, th things have, like, flung on my face. Like, I've had I've had things go in my mouth. It's like, yeah, it's, it's fine. <laughs> it's like, okay, all right. We've got a badass teaching us, and she does not give two fucks. Yeah, she said, like, yeah, I, I, I've had fat go in my mouth before. It's like, mm-hmm, uh-huh, okay, awesome. <laughs> oh, you know for a fact that Sweat is hating every single bit of this, dude. That resident sleeper is just for us to, like, move on to something else. Sweat for his own good. Well, look at Dew being a nice guy. Horrific stories about GSWs, bro. Like, it's depending on the round, too, like, they tear you up, dude. Yeah, Josh, I agree that that happens. Like on TV and stuff, you're you're more um, you're more likely to be very squeamish of things. And I, I think I kind of chalk that up to people just being good at their jobs when it comes to entertainment.
Yeah, super emotional, like really invested. Oh, so guys, 07 wants to talk about how Sweat is going to get the run tomorrow. His DS1 run. That's fucked up, Squills. Anyway, back to like happier topics and stuff that like everyone could talk about <laughs> and listen to. <laughs> oh boy. Did you know that you can't fart when you die? Like, you, you may have built up gas, but, like, your sphincters relax, so you, you can't fart. You know that? Swiss Army Man is a lie, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Those bastards, dude. Am I okay? What? With informing you that you can't fart after you die? Do you said that before and I was hesitant to believe you, but your reasoning was like it made sense. I bet I can. Josh, that has like the same energy as someone being like, yeah, I can tech that. I can tech that oncoming car, dude. <laughs> There's only one way to know for sure. What, like whether you can tech a, an, an, on, an oncoming car or... Oh, I guess the farting thing in space? Yeah, that too. <sighs> Giving me bad RNG, dude. What's tomorrow's movie? Dude, I never decide on the movie until that day. I just search some random movie site and I'm like, oh, this looks good. Alright, cool. Let's do it. Because there are so many movies that I haven't seen, but like, even though I've seen a lot of movies. Do we do movie nights? Exclamation point October. We're doing a movie night every day for the month of October because I want to do a challenge where I watch at least one movie a day for October. Uh, it's not necessarily like horror themed, it's just any kind of movie really. We we had a string of horror movies for a while, um, and I guess I'll probably try to get more horror movies for the end of October. Yeah, uh, so, yeah, if you want to hang out in the Discord while we do that, I'm like, go ahead. Your dining room? What about your dining room? Yeah, Little Miss Sunshine was awesome. I wasn't expecting to like that movie that much. Ryan, what's up? How you doing? Hey, Thumb. How you doing? Speaking of movie night, Thumb was there for movie night. Oh, I broke all the tables of what you're talking about. 
The tables are overpowered in Dark Souls. I've had that meme with a friend ever since I started playing uh, DS1, like years and years ago. We'd always complain about how like overpowered the tables were and just destroy them all the time. Yeah, that was Doug, by the way. We, we passed by Doug like a minute ago. I forgot to call him out. going over here how the runs been uh up until well yeah up until today <laughs> so like yesterday the day before the day before that we have gotten up to princes and died because i'm bad how i i have to go up to that bonfire to unlock patches um, you go to Rosaria's chambers, and then when you come up here, uh, in this tower, um, you can't come back down or else the entrance to this place is gonna be locked by patches. So once you take the elevator up, patches will lock you in. And then, uh, when you go back to Firelink, you'll show up in the top story right there. And we unlock him to get skulls, alluring skulls. He does, he does auto um, unlock or whatever. He he does spawn here after killing deacons, but we want him before deacons, right? Thanks, Gokompia. Thank you for the good luck, Lithrum. I appreciate it, dude. Yeah, because the um we need um what do you call it? Alluring skulls for deacons. Or else I'll just be left with one skull for deacons. And I don't want that for phase two. Cool. Ye little faith, no. Ye many many experience and many many wisdom of not fucking around with deacons it's just like with um the reason why i use the bow and arrow to shoot all of the um all the furniture in princes I've seen too many things, <laughs> and I've had so many things happen to me that just completely have the, the fight go sideways. Oh shoot, I need to do this on. Those deacons scare me, dude. Yeah, on Trilogy you can't take the most deacons. I mean, you can, I guess, if you're like really fast. If you're really fast with your route and you take like kind of consistent strats, then you might be able to get away with it. Because you're just like putting in so much time. But yeah, most of the time you can't really do that on Trilogy. But this isn't Trilogy, this is SL1, so... I mean, I still want to do kind of things that are, uh... 
consistent. I like using skulls for deacons. Crap. enough that's gonna be problematic you know what yeah we're, we're gonna pretend not happen dropping frames again? yeah I'm dropping frames oops not that many though we're, we're all good hopefully I can probably get this yes I can I don't need the pine bundles, actually. I could just go and 2R1 them. That's not a good deacon. Oops. a good one? It was. Nice. Any openings, dude? How the sword hit the inside guy? I mean, the hitboxes in these games aren't, uh... Aren't perfect. Well, they're perfect to you if you if you are drastically in love in the, with the game. And <laughs> if you are a DS1 slash DS2 slash DS3 apologist, then you're like, What are you talking about? Like, the, the hitboxes are perfect, bro. Just get good, dog. Is Ben CBD not working anymore? Yikes. Oh yeah. <clears throat> we heckin' got out of there. Although I did make one mistake. And I did not get punished for it, so we're fine. Uh, 
Uh, Asado, what's up, Ermac? It's the GG, appreciate it. Hey, runner. <laughs> Helix took one for the team, dude. Nice one, runner. You almost had it, dude. I need to purchase fire bombs for uh, for princes for the arena. That is not for uh, you know what I mean. No, dab blow, dab blow, indeed, dude. I mean, I'm not contractually obligated to say dab lol slash lol dab bro dude I actually have no idea what 1984 is all about if anyone cares enough to explain that'd be cool What else are you waste your CP on? Uh, you can always time out Spoon. Or save up to throw the run. It's okay. <laughs> Only a few rights are lost, I guess. Hey UHP, what's up? The hardest boss. Is he the is he the easiest boss, I wonder? I don't know who I'd say is the easiest boss in this game. You know, it's probably like It's either like Vort, Dancer. Walnir or Sage. It's like Brave New World. Dude, I don't know what Brave New World's about either. I'm I'm not a I'm not a novel reader. <laughs> I'm pissing people off by saying dancer. Wait, really? I mean, when when you know how to fight dancer, she is very easy. Nineteen eighty four is about the futile aspirations of pursuing decent, a uh, descent. Uh, no, decent. I missed a totalitarian regime. Stick to the back, uh, right leg for dancer, and you're fine. I've never had to read Brave New World. Every time I've heard Brave New World or 1984, I just thought it was just some, I don't know, dystopian future, <clears throat> or like, shit hit the fan. Yeah, I mean, I died the most to Dancer when I was learning this run. I died probably the most to Dancer when I uh, first played this game. But, like, it's it's kind of like saying how people would say that Wolnir is easy. 
right? But when DS3 first came out, Volnir was very difficult for people. It's uh, sort of fear mongering. Not that it disproves what you're saying, but I feel like almost every single thing that has been warned, like that has been warned to be very, very bad. There was probably a critic out there who said it was fear mongering at one point. Nameless is also hard, dude. The timings on your rolls have to be like kind of different for that boss fight. Madeir and Demon Princes. Demon Princes, yeah. Madeir, like... I can see Madeir being difficult, like, your first few times, but after a while, like, it... It's pretty easy. His attacks are extremely well telegraphed. And I feel like the only thing that you have... Very, like, a lot of issue with is, like, his laser attack in second phase. And then, all you have to know for that is, like, you go to the left and then you go to the right. <laughs> That's it. Left and then right and... So, like, his right and then his left. Pontiff's super difficult for, like, first playthroughs because he's so aggressive. He doesn't look that aggressive in, like, no it runs, but... Okay, I need this guy. <clears throat> you do the poop shot? It's pretty awesome. I got that shot from Gino. Sweat, I will bring up things that you're squeamish about again. Don't test me, dude. You always miss the first parry. <laughs> it's the hardest one to do. Nineteen eighty four was meant to be warning Oral wrote before his death, the moral to be drawn from this dangerous nightmare. Uh, is a simple one, don't let it happen, it depends on you. I see. One of the only Western writers who got the Soviet Union. Do people talk about writers that way anymore? With a Matrix-like concept, what about the Matrix? Like, farming humans? I remember it well enough to actually give the best opinion on it. Got you. I see, I see. Yeah. We live in a simulation, or do we live in a society? It was banned for communist propaganda and for capitalist propaganda. Don't you just love governments, dude? It's some kind of prophetic no Nostradamus-esque masterpiece, when in reality this was more criticism than that. I mean, I have no opinion on it, because I've, I've never read it. <laughs> Your opinion's liable to change. Dude, that's, that's an amazing thing that I realize with, like, media. 
a lot of times people remember like the idea of the piece of media. That's why people say like they're afraid to watch. Oh, that was very close. They're afraid to watch um like their favorite movies again when they were, you know, really young. Because what you remember about it is not what it actually was. I can't get CBD Toe Camp fucking 1984. Wait, Allie has... has Halloween-specific emotes? I didn't know that. That one looks good, dude. Yeah, I always brown cheer. I didn't before, Lamer, but now I do, because this guy has three different attacks that you can do. Well, four. One is... It's like an AoE that he just says over there. But, um... He has three different attacks. Two of them are fine to, uh... Parry, or to, to roll. But the, uh... The third one has... Very tricky timing. And it's kind of a gamble for the human eye, from what I've seen. Or you just have to get lucky and, like, kind of mess up a parry or a roll. You know what I mean? I don't need this. What do I want? What do I want? I want... That. Alright, cool. You asshole. Swad wishes he can parry like that, dude. Heckin' wishes he can parry like that. Do I even need to... I don't, huh? I could just do this. Thanks for the GG's, guys. Welcome elevation? The there was no elevation. Swad's on the copium, dude. Geo, what is up, dude? Wait, can I get this? Oh, okay. Geo, how wait, how's the uh, how's the stream, dude? If you guys don't know Geo, he's working on an S01 all bosses run. No hit, of course. One of the more knowledgeable people of DS3, I'd say. 
gameplay wasn't all there. Yeah. <sighs> Feels man. Hey, Pink. Uh, welcome, Raiders. What's up? How you doing? We just beat Pontiff by the skin of our teeth. You found a super secret Gale attack? What does he do? How does he do it? Or is it just like super duper random? The quadruple cape spin. <laughs> Adding the list easy run. Hey, V Sweat. V Sweat. Wait, 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 wait. V Sweat. V Sweat. V Sweat. Are you saying that I am padding my runs because they are easy? Watch me. Watch, watch me trap him, chat. Sweat has no idea what's coming to him. Maybe a shit. He turned. Uh, he was turning awkwardly while w winding up. Then throughout the attack, it appeared four times, four different rotations. I noticed that when when bosses like refuse to square up with you, like they do some funky stuff and they look very weird because like y you can't really recognize the animations. Dude, look at look at Sweat just ignoring my my question. I asked him a simple question, and he's not even answering it. What the hell is up with this, dude? Have you ever died because of fall damage? Because of, during a no hit run, uh, yeah, plenty of times. Sweat is still ignoring my question, dude. Sweat, so would you say that Dark Souls 1, any percent no hit, is easier than this run? I just need a yes or a no. That's why you go on the right side of those stairs, by the way. Because sometimes he does that stupid attack. It's equal and so sweat is such a memer, dude. <laughs> sweat is ridiculous right now. <laughs> Okay, uh-huh. People popcorn, but listen, oh, he's... He's doing the butt chat. He's pulling out the butt, dude. But, but, uh, uh, but, uh, I don't know. <laughs> like, yes, yeah, keep, keep on going. You suck at DS1, so yours... Wait, no, wait, v Sweat, don't you have an alert on your own channel? of me saying that I suck at DS3 and that you agreed with so so what's your point here dude it's, okay okay it feels like I'm bullying when it gets to this point right when it gets to this point where, where sweat has nowhere to go right and it's so easy to pull things that contradict that contradict his own statement like do I continue doing this do I ease off the gas do I let it appear that sweat is doing stuff like that is uh I, I I don't know. That is winning an argument. Like, should I should I do that sometimes? Go for the kill, Aaron. <laughs> Chat spoken, dude. All right, let's get like rid of all of this. <clears throat> Do you end this ceaseless injustice? <laughs> That's fine. Oi. Where are you off to? Uh, Sirius, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Hey, Septus.
900. Shit. Ten sixty. I'm kind of in a pickle. So it's ten sixty, fifteen forty ish. Seventeen hundred. All right, let's go for it. <clears throat> hey, midnight. Nice one, DS3. Eh, kind of my fault, too, right? So. <laughs> Dude, so what is modding? Like, he sees this consistency that I always have. He is heckin' modding, dude. Thanks for the GGs. Quit out? Why would I quit out? There, there, there. And all of this stuff. Runs free until here, or until DSA. Uh-huh. So are you saying that people who can't do this are bad or something? Sweat, why would you say that? <clears throat> Oh, were you saying quit out because of Phase 2 Aldrich? Yeah, I'd... Phase... I mean... <sighs> phase 2 Aldrich, you shouldn't have to bone out of, unless he does arrows. Like, I know a lot of any percent runners um, bone out of Phase 2 if they don't get it, but uh, it's impossible for SL1 Broken Tracer to get, um, to get, uh, a one cycle. I'm saying anyone can do it. What's what I'm saying, dude? Eyes of the staff can do Wait, can you actually one cycle? With the eyes of the staff? Yeah, okay, so <clears throat> I wasn't sure if you did because I was I was watching your stream yesterday, but I was like also playing DVD. <laughs> and then I looked uh Aldrich was alive and then I looked again and he was dead, so GG. Can't be bothered to count. I mean, that's fair. My stamina was not the best there, so...
Sweat died during that skip right... Yeah, Sweat did die during that skip one time. I was there, dude. Um, get rid of this, put that there. Alright, cool. Should on <sighs> Okay, so the thing about doing the fast um dungeon skip is it looks terrifying. Sweat. Yeah, why doesn't Sweat do the fast uh, dungeon skip, dude? Smile. <gasps> A fireball! <laughs> I got someone, right? At least one person. Oh, Keck, wait. I don't have... Lloyd's on. This is going to be awesome. That's not even Swed's joke. That's Gino's joke. Josh's joke. It's it's Squilla's joke. It's Hobbs' joke. It's uh, Faraz's joke, dude. I swear. for the follow, appreciate it. Um, I only read chat sometimes. Like, there are definitely spots where you can, um, like, really safely read chat. I guess if you know the fight well enough. I missed. Cool. What's against TOS now? Back away. See, like, I, I can't keep up with chat when I'm in 
boss fights. Yeah, I ignore everyone in boss fights, dude. Unfortunate. My face? That's why I don't show it, right? So, don't blame me. And Twitch. I missed this head. Cool. Hey, Willie. So this could have been avoided if I got that one repost that I missed. But alas for her. Eat skirt load up, dude. Can we make it to the bonfire? I don't, I don't think we can, dude. We got there. Cool. Because we're chads. <clears throat> Alright. Thanks for the GG's, guys. Appreciate it. Letting chat insult other streamers can write a line with TOS. Uh, I mean, in, insulting is a very broad term. Right, um... I would think that... I mean, if you're... If you're criticizing them... Like, if it's actual criticism, then, like, it's fine. Yeah, it depends on the nature of what's being said. Like, if, if someone's throwing out slurs, I mean, then it's TOS because of the slurs. Or if you're... If you're defaming someone unjustly? I don't know, like... I, I know of no previous experience or precedent where, like, someone got, like yeeted for, I don't know, talking shit about another streamer in a chat. No blatant hate? Yeah, I don't know. I bound your aura as I'm not worthy to beat Yorm without Storm. <laughs> you can survive in, in a... Oh god, my neighbor's dog is barking. You, you can survive in Yorman, like, indefinitely, pretty much, if you can... I don't know. Survive for, like, ten minutes, five minutes. I mean, Twitch political sphere exists, so no way you get in trouble for criticizing other streamers? What do you mean? It depends on how you criticize them. Like it depends on what you say about them, right? It also depends on how high up they are. Like if if you're talking mad shit about, I don't know. Pokimane or probably Ludwig, <laughs> right? Who's the biggest XQ well, I mean you could talk shit about XQC all you want, I guess, huh? Maybe it's not in positions. If if it's someone who they deem to be like, I don't know, in a protected class, whatever the fuck that means, then it, it may be against TOS, I don't know. Welcome back, Logic. Right. We turned down the music a bit. The in game music. Um I can hear oh, what's going on. Hey Jippy. Missing something. That's what I'm missing.
I wish that injured him, dude. I wish, like, any one of these injured him. That'd be, like, amazing. I should not have rolled that early, I guess. That was very close. I shouldn't have done that. See ya, hobo. Chris, what's up, dude? Oh, really? Oh, fuck you. And boom goes the dynamite. Lulda. <clears throat> I don't know why you're not there. I give you my love, but you don't care. What? So what is right? <laughs> and what is wrong? Give me a sign. What is love? Baby, don't oh. hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. GGBTW. <laughs> Thank you, Squills with 100 bits. Thanks for the GG's, guys. Appreciate it. Moving on. That's uh, Rester. Crom, <laughs> uh, no you. Actually, no you. Okay. Let's uh, let's not die here, huh? Be smart about this. Uh, this, you know what? Um, you know, I'm gonna get plus 10 anyways before princes. So I don't have to go and buy stuff, like, right now. Hey, Blackwood, thanks for good luck, dude. Hey Johnny, what's up, dude? I saw Squirrel get hit here today, but he was climbing up the ladder. He wasn't actually at the ladder. Um, not entirely sure what causes that. Shit. 
What would be the shot that I use to get the sweat run? Um, eh, kind of. Except uh, with with the broken straight sword, it's harder to do that exact shot. What the fuck is he doing, dude? Right, we are merciless towards the RNG gods. Hey Marissa, what's up? Did he not see me? He's be a spear, All right? I saw that you you said that you ate moldy bread. Wait, you almost got in a car accident? You missed your train and forgot you he had a midterm. It sounds like you had a no good, dirty rotten bad day. Is there a movie like called like so and so's horrible very bad day or something? I don't know. It's a book. If it's a book, then it was definitely turned into a movie too, because I remember seeing that as a, a movie title. Alexander and a horrible, terrible, no good, very bad day. There it is. Just received an arterial pressure lab result and turns out you're hypertensive here to chill for a bit. I am. That is some news, dude. I <laughs> Take it easy, dude. Hey, Kevin. How you doing? It's a children's book, I see. forgot to throw it away. Did you like almost eat it again or that's like the <laughs> that's like that scene in Due Date. Have you guys seen Due Date with uh Robert Pattinson and Zach Galifianakis? He like How do I explain this? Because it's it's pretty fucked up. He like Zach Galifianakis has um his father's ashes in a Folgers bin and they go to visit like one of um uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s friends and then his friend sees the Folgers thing and he makes coffee out of it and then um, wait did I say Pattinson? Downey Jr. that's what, that's what I meant and then uh, uh, and then like <laughs> he makes coffee out of the ashes and then they start drinking it then Zach Galifianakis like spits it out he's like oh I need something to wash it down and then he like goes back for the cup it's like ugh it's gross, dude. Motherfucker. Can that hit me, I wonder? I should probably go when he does that. Was the gray not dark brown? Uh, bro, I don't know. We need five more people to correct him. In my head, I said Downey Jr. I even said Downey Jr. like the second time I said his name. So y'all, y'all tripping, all right?
Lord and Savior Fast Archives. Josh, you're not gonna fool me with this, right? I am my will is made of the mightiest steel. Cannot bend. The grandma and her friends accidentally brew the main guy's weed into tea and get mega stoned. That... <laughs> Jesus. Is there weed tea? Like, is that an actual thing? It is. Oh, I see you, dude. Chat, Sweat doesn't know, dude. He actually doesn't know. I've never seen Grandma's boy know. There's weed everything, like everything is cake kind of thing. Can't trust it because it might be cake. Weed? Question mark? People ref? Is it, um... Is it a what's his face movie? Uh, fuck. What is his name? Director of Clerks. Is it him? Welcome back, Sir Flex. It's not. Oh. Hey, Kaki. Kevin Smith. Yeah. Sweat is not getting everyone high. That's actually a lie, dude. Hmm. Buying some Suge Knight <laughs> Posh Chat. <laughs> dude, isn't that aggravated assault or something? Like, like that. Uh, that's some kind of threatening. That has to be against the law, dude. Is weed legal? Um, I don't think so. Hawaii is the most conservative blue state, Lulia. so... Today is October 19th, 2021. This is oh Folgers, boy. host of the updates, bringing you your daily CBD updates. Mom and Dad got into an argument about which Dark Souls is better, and Mom gave the generic answer of, they're equal. 07 is still banned well, for being wasn't the completely typical true. Reddit user in eight different chats, and somehow is a mod in two of them. And CBD has a newfound hatred for Katy Perry and Ikea furniture. And that has been your CBD updates for October 19th, 2021. Thank you, Fodris, for the 100 bits. Appreciate it, dude. The equal answer was in terms of difficulty and, like, if this run was more difficult than... A, uh, a regular any percent run DS1. But I mean, y you got most of it, so let it slide this time, dude. Conservative in what state? In what sense? Like in values, I guess. I'd say one of the most conservative. Blue states, like I I say well, I say blue state because I'm pretty sure Hawaii has never gone red except for Reagan. <clears throat> um, but like I f feel like the culture here is more pushing a conservative uh, leaning side. At the bone out right, yeah. How do you subscribe to receive text updates? Good question. Hey Joe, what's up? Okay. 
well i don't want to be insulting any uh, like uh, squeals whenever i talk about this stuff i don't place any judgment i don't call anything names because i don't want to deal with the backlash and i highly highly ask people to not say anything like that what am i doing um oh a lot of these Um, this guy. You're gonna go to Vegas and read a book? Sweat, it's like you don't know me at all. Ashen one. It's like Sweat does not know me whatsoever. <clears throat> Gamba streamer? Wait, like Gamble? I don't know about that one, Chief. How long does it take to fly from Hawaii to the mainland? Um, like five hours, I think. If you're going like to California. Yeah, Reagan's sw like swept, dude. Reagan was. Like, killer. Is it four hours? I thought it was five. Aiden have to fly to Michigan from Hawaii. Oh, yeah, that's Oi, probably like four, four and a half. Are you to? That's a bot fall. Flippy's back, dude. Fuck, I don't know if I'm, like, dying here or not, you know what I mean? You know, let's take everything off. Wait, I feel like I missed chat. Did I miss any chat? No, we're good. <clears throat> awesome. Alright, boom. 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 Even brighter than the moon. Moon, moon. Alright, chat. <laughs> Bro, should I have not have brought up Reagan? <laughs> Anytime I bring up politics, I'm just like bringing up matter of fact things. I hope you guys know that. Hey, Guru. Um. All right. If you guys need to take a break, by the way, this is like the perfect time to take it. Perfect time. We're gonna be uh, exterminating some chairs and tables. Uh, get that guy out of here. That was a horrible throw. Don't ever throw like that. Oh shit, that was really bad. If you don't know why I do this, um, I don't know if we have a, do we still have a command for princes? I forgot. But I can explain it while I'm doing it. Um, when princes teleport, they can teleport on top of chairs or tables, whatever these things are. It's a mixture of both. Missed it. Um, shit. <laughs> um, and when Oi, they teleport on top of to? these chairs or tables, you can lose your, your lock onto them, and they also uh, animation cancel. So if they animation cancel, they can go directly into another attack, and there's no way of you knowing what attack they're going into. Uh, so it turns into a guessing game, because you lose your lock on, and well, you, you can't see what they're doing, so you have to, you have to guess. 
And I don't I don't like guessing. I like to keep that out of my hit list runs. I'm sure a lot of people would, so we destroy all these all these things, dude. Sometimes they're like they're really sneaky. You might think you got all of them, but like there's gonna be like one surviving. <laughs> Like, like, is this one? Is, is that one? No, it's not, alright. There's that guy. There's two over here. Three over here? Two? Two. I think I got all of them. This is what, I've always done this. Alright. Tom Brady with a firebomb? <laughs> I miss a lot though, so I don't know. You just get a feel. Like I don't know how you get good at throwing firebombs. You just kind of get a feel. All right. So what's up, chat? Uh, if you're new here, what's up? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. If you're not new here, you know what's about to come up. And uh, I would like everyone in chat to ask themselves um, if you ever feel perhaps like a plastic bag. Perhaps drifting through the wind. I don't know. I don't know what your prerogative is. Let's go, chat. Let's go. <clears throat> oh. oh dear. Another dogged contender. There is chat. That's Prince's. That's Distance PB, and we're going to Cinder, dude. Everyone say bad to, bad to Prince's, dude. Oh boy. Thank you for joining in with Princess. 
everyone who is copying and pasting and being a part of the movement. Oi, where are you off to? Uh, Zeus, thank you for the follow, dude. Oi, where are you off to? Where are you off to, dude? All right. Um. Oh wait. Uh, Torip, thanks for the follow. Oh, and 2D Spaceman, thanks for the follow from like five minutes ago. Appreciate it. Well, this <laughs> is a surprise. Why do you thank you for the? Thank you for the gift sub, dude. Didn't have to do that. I appreciate that, dude. Thank you. Uh, to Mad Fat Vlad. Hope you like the emotes, wow. Vlad. Thank you again, Whitey. Thank you so much. Okay, um... I don't need to buy anything. Ashen one. Cool. Premature dudes for the co- I mean, like, you're allowed, like, one dude, right? But after that, you can't really have many dudes, dude. Um... What else do I need? That's it, yeah. Okay, um... I was gonna do something. There we go. You're singing a song and dancing, uh, and from the bedroom you hear your wife yell, what the fuck are you doing, you idiot? <laughs> That's funny. I saw it, what's up, Zavi? Set a party, sir. I have not set a party, sir, like this in a while. But I've realized that, like, the lower your damage, the more valuable RTSR is. Because, like, it adds a certain percentage per hit, and I have a lot of hits going on on Cinder, so... Luldep. Luldep. Demon Dumper to give Cinder the Thumper. <laughs> uh, thank you, N70. Appreciate it, dude. Where's 07? 07 is banned. 07 is banned until, um, until V-Swad gets his DS1 no-hit run. I warned 07 and he, he went, he went all out, dude. So forever? I mean, uh, you said it, not me. Will I grind Elden Ring? I, mean, I don't know if I'll grind out Elden Ring. Elden Ring is for future me to be concerned about. <clears throat> no, it's not my fault. It absolutely is not my It is 100% 07's fault, dude. Alright. Looks like we're good. Um, if you're new here, what's up? How you doing? Uh, if you're not new here, you know you know exactly what to do, and don't let me down. All right, all right, cool. Okay, let's go.
<laughs> Not even close. Oh my god, dude. Oi, where are you up to? That was, that was really fun. Calculated, by the way. Also, I'm hob rolling because I don't want to be running. Because if you run and you run into one of those uh, branches, you're dead. Right? I roll preemptively to break the branches if I were to otherwise run into the branches. That's a little Cinder 101 for you while I'm fighting the fucking boss. You're welcome. to do. Let's do it.
Oh, there it is, shot. <laughs> oh, boy. After like a week of dying to princes, dude, we finally got it. <laughs> well, this is a surprise. Dude, Procrastinator, thanks for gifting a sub, dude. Thanks for all the GGs, guys. So, we've done this run. Luldep. That oh, was yeah. hot. <laughs> Fresh run, thank you for the 100 bits, dude. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> we Oi, just got a raid from... Where are you off to? From Mr. Low Aggie, dude. <laughs> Lumbao. <laughs> Came at the right time. <laughs> what's up, guys? How you doing? <laughs> Aggie, thanks for the raid. Uh, hi, what's up? We just we just got to run. <laughs> thanks for the GGs, guys. <laughs> well, I mean, that's SL1 broken straight sword, any percent. You know now that we have to go on to all bosses. Where are you off to? Right, so, uh... That's just how it is. We've done this run with the broken straight sword any percent, all bosses, S O one any percent, now we have to do S O one all bosses. Oi, and I'm kind of excited for that. Yeah, if I start DS2 and DS1 now, it could be trilogy, but like do I really want to do that? <laughs> anyway, well say hi to YouTube guys. Hello YouTube. Where are you off to? Bye YouTube. That's it. That's all you see. <laughs>